So for today, we're going to be covering the Arc 3.0 fashion for the Titans. If you guys haven't seen the Hunter video, I'll have it in the description out and right now. I highly suggest you guys watch that one if you guys want to up your fashion, because I think a lot of those uh, pieces are really good. And the sets that I made are also really good. So again, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, a sub goes along the way, a like, uh, even commenting, all of that really does help. So. The exotics we're going to be looking at is the insurmountable skull fort and the ornaments that has the eternal warrior and the exotics that that has and the curious of the falling star and the ornament that it has well i should say ornaments but we'll get to that when we get to that uh specifically for eternal warrior i will not talk too much upon it because i made a video on it if you guys haven't seen it i'll have it right here but without further ado without making this longer let's just get into it so the first exotic we're going to be looking at is the insurmountable skull fort i have a very tender spot in my heart for this exotic because this exotic i used a lot in vanilla destiny 2 specifically like through trials of the nine i think i have still have videos on it i should be in the background right now but me and another friend of mine would basically have the same fashion which was just the devastation protocol armor with the crucible mark and then just all white and me and him would just play that and we would destroy it was fun it was a lot of fun and for me the insurmountable skull fort really lends itself to really round shaped armor sets obviously uh sp specifically only the the non-ornament look the default look as for how it shaders i think it shaders really well the only thing that kind of kind of will annoy people is the fact that the dots in the front are usually going to be a hint of purple so just be aware of that the example set that i made is kind of a throwback to De vanilla destiny 2 like i said with the exception of the mark the example set is the base look for the insurmountable skull fort the jensen knight gauntlets because i really like it and it goes really well with the helmet because again it's it's round shaped for the chess piece, we're using the Devastation Complex because it's one of my favorite chess pieces in the game. And it's also not rounded, but it does have that rounded shape. Uh, for the boots, we're using the Exodus Down Greaves because I didn't want to use the Devastation Complex. And I was like, this is going to be the closest thing to it. And I also like that it's rounded as well, at least the sides. And then for the mark, we're using the Wing D Discipline from uh, Season of the Arrivals, if I remember correctly definitely one of my favorite sets that i've made it's very very boring i will say like it like if you were expecting something crazy for me personally i think the best look for this is just rounded shaped armor for the shader we're using the argent territory because i like the silver specifically i was trying to lean into a art piece or i don't know what it is but i was trying to lean into something like this which i didn't find good arms for it which is why i went with the jimson knight gauntlets but I really like that set in the drawing and I wanted to at least try to invoke something like that. So let me know what you guys think about the armor set. I think it's pretty good, but for the first ornament we're gonna be looking at is the electronic mind cage. This one's really cool. If you guys know Daft Punk, you guys will know this is definitely a, a Daft Punk inspired hel helmet because of personally, it just kind of looks like this dude right here. So as for how it shaders, it shaders really well. I would only say that the Echoed Anger's red looks a little desaturated, which I'm not a big fan of. And then every other color looks fine. Specifically, Sat Toy Tribe, I think, looks really good with it. Uh, as for the example set, this one is where I kind of stopped caring about the round shape because Electronic Mind Cage does have a like roundness to it. But I decided to go with more blockiness instead, which I think is still really good. For the arms, we're using the Forbidden Visage Gauntlets just because I wanted to have something bulky for the arms since the chest piece is pretty bulky itself. Speaking of which, the Sunbreak Plate is what we're using because the Sunbreak Plate goes really well with the Deep Explorer Greaves, which is one of my favorite Greaves in the game so far for the Titans, specifically when you pair it with the Sunbreak Plate. Uh, for the mark, we're using the Intrepid Exploit Mark because I didn't want anything too crazy. And I like the fact that the grenades on the belt uh also look well with the like ammo belt on the chest piece so this one would probably be catered well towards like electronical stuff but i've done so much electronical that i just kind of wanted to do something that i thought looked cool instead of like 
immediately going for the electronic look because I was probably going to use the season of the splicer arms with this and then go all all in with it. But I just decided I just want to I just want to do something that I think looks personally cool and not have a theme attached to it. So that's why it looks the way it is. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Last but not least, I think the mind vault is probably the coolest one. I'm not going to lie to you guys specifically because of just how different it is to compared to like the other two because the other two are very rounded shape this one for the mind vault you could actually switch out with the electronic mind cage set and i think that would have been good as well for how it shaders it shaders really well so if you guys see how it basically looks like the default look you guys will see that there's like yellow almost neon yellow uh wires that that actually do change color thankfully uh for the shaders like i said it it does change the color just be aware that the only thing that doesn't change color is going to be the red uh, mark that occasionally pops up but i don't think that's too much of a problem because it it happens like not all the time for the example set this is where it gets interesting i found someone who made a vine vault mind vault look looks so amazing i'll have it right now with um the redditor's name and everything because i want to give credit i was so tempted to just fucking steal this but i was like i don't want to do that i mean obviously i would still show who made it but a i don't have uh synth weaves anymore to actually do that look and to get the arms because i think the arms would be the only thing i would actually use from that but i wanted to do something that at least had the same feeling if not just like have yellow wires into that so for the arms we're using the midnight exigent gauntlets from oh my god war mind it's an old one uh same thing for the braytech iron heart engine for the chest piece that's from war mind as well for the boots we're using the forge machinist greaves because i just like how it looks if we get a if we get legs that have yellow on it i think that'd be really good but just be aware that the season of the worthy seasonal armor or seasonal ornament does look good with it it's just my my personal uh annoyance with it is the fact that it makes the boots look really small and then for the mark we're using the exodus down mark because i didn't want too much of a flashy mark on the front and i do like that the mark is pretty much all the way in the back like all of the mark is in the back and nothing more so let me know what you guys think i really like how this set came out I also combined the reef the the helmet with the refurbished black armor because it still retains the yellow on the helmet and if i'm being honest the helmet's default color is also is almost like a refurbished black armory shader so that's the shader you're definitely going to want to go for at least if you want to combine the yellow wiring for the next exotic we're going to be looking at is the eternal warrior so this is interesting because i've already made a video on eternal warrior i'll have it right here but we're not going to be going as in depth as I did in that video, because again, if you want to see like how the helmet looks on a female, because this is not how the female's helmet looks. This is mostly the male helmet or this is the male helmet. Um, I will, I go into way more depth in that video than I will in this one, because I do have other exotics to look at specifically one more. So again, if you guys want to see that in depth video, I'll have it right now. Eternal warrior definitely a sleeper hit for me i was really annoyed when when uh, someone asked for this specifically i know who asked for this too and i hate you but i will say i was surprised at how much i actually loved what i made for the example set which is the same as the video i'm not going to make a new look because it took me too long to make the look for that video as for how it shaders it doesn't shader let's just get that out of the way it does not shader well as you guys can see from echo anger abyssinian gold uh sato tribe every shader is gonna look terrible with it because this exotic does not shader at all uh i shouldn't say at all you guys can obviously see that like the skirts on the on the face on the cheeks the like thin piece of metal on the back and in the forehead all of that does change color but it doesn't change it enough to actually take this shader or take the exotic to a, a better way so just be aware of that for the example set i'm gonna be real with you guys i love this set to the point where i was actually thinking about maining this for a while because i just love how it looks unfortunately eternal warriors exotic 
trait is just straight up trash and i just cannot give like i can't make myself use this because of that but what's really cool is we can appreciate how cool it looks how so let's get into it so for the shader we're going to be using the bright innovation i'm going to get that out of the way right now because that's the best shader you're going to have for the helmet for the arms, you're going to be using the steeplechase gauntlets because I really leaned into the whole like Roman or Greek warrior or just like gladiator feel. And I think the arms are really good for it because you have a Colossus helmet on the actual arms and then the blades on the forearms also really lends itself to a warrior. For the chest piece, we're using the solstice plate resplendent without the glow because I like the, the cloth. It, it just feels like a, something a warrior would wear, would wear. The only negative I can tell you about this set is the fact that the chest piece has gold on it. For me, I kind of ignore it. So for people who can't ignore it, just be aware of that. You'd probably want some, some gold in there, but it took me a while to find the Bray Innovation shader to begin with. So I don't know how long you're going to actually try to find something that's going to look good with it. For the boots, we're using the Phoenix Strife Type O specifically because the thigh, the top of the thigh has the shader actually split into silver and blue, and the same thing for the calves on the boots. If you use like Devastation Complex, I think it's called Devastation Protocol Complex. No, Complex. Either way, if you use the other armor that specifically looks exactly like this then it just do, does the whole color as a blue which is not what i wanted i wanted at least some silver in there and then for the mark we're using the test allegiance mark because again i'm going for that warrior look that roman look and i like that the skirt is metal and also the like the three uh dick towels i think that's great as well so this is definitely one of my favorite sets i think this is going to look even better on a titan because it's just going to be bulkier but yeah, let me know what you guys think. As for the ornament, I'm going to be real with you guys. I hate it. I absolutely hate this ornament. I think it's terrible. Probably the worst ornament in the game in the history of Destiny. I'm going to go that way because it's just terrible looking. Uh, because as you guys can see from the shader situation, I don't know how they did it, but it's even worse like than Eternal Warriors base look. I don't know how they did it, but it's worse. Uh, the only things that change color are going to be like the eyes and not even like the eyeball, just like around the eyes and then the f like the top of the head. Other than that, it's all going to be this really gross green for the look that I made with this. I ended up going with the basalt toxic because that was the best I could find. Obviously, there's actually other better shaders that I was thinking about using, but I really liked that the Basalt Toxic had black in it and I wanted to desaturate the green as much as I could. But again, I do go into further detail in the actual Eternal Warrior video because I give you different shaders that you could actually use with this. Uh, I'm not going to do that now because I don't even remember the shaders, if I'm being quite honest. For the arms, we're going to be using the Technosaurus Claws because I like the pointiness of the the shoulder pads compared with the Empyrean Cartographer plate, because if you guys don't know, the like around the neck, it has this really pointy spot. So I think the Empyrean Cartographer paired with the Technosaurus claws are really good. For the boots, we're using the Jensen Knight Greaves because they're also pointy. And then for the mark, we're using the Legatus mark because I specifically with the Jensen Knight Greaves, I really like to cover at least the crotch and I pretty much nailed it. A little too well but you will this is will be not ugh, this will not be the last time you'll, you'll hear about the legatus mark promise and last but not least we have the curious of the fallen star definitely a really cool exotic to work around specifically the default look of it i think the ornament is cool but we'll get into that when we get into that uh as for how it actually shaders i think it shaders really well there's not a lot of pieces that you're gonna be mad about if anything i don't think there's a lot of pieces to be mad about I think the only thing you can really complain about is the fact that at the bottom of the plate armor, there is actually red that doesn't change color, but I just found that out by looking at it now. So just be aware that the red might, might bug you, but for me, I just realized this now and this exotic has been out for forever. So just be aware of that. For the example set, I really like how this came out. So this is a variation of an old set that I made. For the helmet, we're using the Sovereign Helm because I like the fur at the top. 
for the arms we're using the tusk allegiance gauntlets because i like how it looks with the boots which is the un insight unyielding greaves uh for specifically let me talk about the the boots real quick the reason i'm using the insight unyielding greaves is because it looks very mongolian to me not only that i like the skirt on the actual boots because if you guys see on the thigh that's actually part of the actual armor so i wanted to keep that skirt because i think it's very important and then for the mark we're using the legatus mark because when you pair it with those boots it just looks so good together so the only thing that i will if you want to copy this one to one the only thing i will tell you is be careful which shaders you use on the boots because the boots takes shaders terribly specifically the white pieces that you see on the boots will shader pretty terribly it'll be a desaturated color of what you actually have so if you have like a red then it's actually going to be a desaturated red like a re like a really noticeable one just be careful uh which is why i'm using regal darren because white is pretty hard to see if it's desaturated at least from what i see here but if you specifically use another shader that has a colored part for that piece, you'll notice. So just be aware of that. For the first ornament we're going to be looking at is the Comet Stirring Dream, which is a weird name. I would have preferred if it was called like Comets Stirred in Dreams, like S at the end. But I mean, whatever. We're not going to nitpick a name. For how it actually shaders, this is where I get kind of annoyed because sometimes it shaders really well. And then other times you have a situation like this where where the, where did the green come from there's no green in this like the the like galaxy inside the armor will for some reason have a shitty color and i'm talking terrible so just be aware that you're gonna fight this on certain shaders uh hopefully i, I, I picked a good shader to actually show you because most of the like usual shaders that we'd see which is like the encode anger abyssinian gold and sato tribe those usually don't have that color at least from what i see so hopefully i picked a really good shader for that as for the examples that i decided to go with the praetorian visage and even in the praetorian visage you can see there's like a hint of green inside which this sh this shader has no green in it so that's why i'm talking like it's so fucking weird that it does that but I mean, whatever, this is, this is the life we choose. For the helmet, we're using the Meridian Constellation Helm because I like the crystal paired with the chest piece. I think it looks very like fantasy and like, that's really it. For pretty much every other piece, it's the fantasy aspect of it. For the Gauntlets of the Great Hunt, I like the fact that it looks like something out of a fantasy story. And the same thing for the Nemean Griefs. I think it looks something out of a fantasy novel. Uh, the only thing that doesn't is the Fanala's Iron Mark, but for me, I wanted something like really, really low down because everything else just looks so fantastical that I didn't want the mark to also be super fantastical. Although you could switch it out if you want that extra fantasy look, because I do think it'll look good either way. Uh, specifically, the Gauntlets of the Great Hunt I'm using because I like that the shoulder plates have so much layers into it that it looks really good with the chest piece. And then for the boots, I also really like because it also has a lot of layers, which is why I'm I'm using a lot of those pieces. I wanted to explain further because I just saying fantasy doesn't help you. I'm using it because it has a lot of layers to it, because if you guys can see the chest piece also has a lot of layers to it. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I will have you guys know because I know some people are going to be like, well, you missed one, one ornament. Yes, I did miss the Cures of the Falling Stars ornament. It has, it has another one. I didn't pick it up, unfortunately, because I say, unfortunately, I didn't pick it up because I didn't, I was not interested in it. And this was before I started making these videos. So now I'll make it a point to actually grab the ornaments that I can when they go on Eververse. But just be aware that if an ornament doesn't go on sale for in the Eververse store, as in it doesn't go in for Bright Dust, I will not pick it up unless someone donates it to me or something like that. So just be aware of that. I do apologize because I do. <sighs> I can't even see it in the game so i i would probably make a look for it if i could see it in game but unfortunately i can't but again hopefully you guys understand if you guys want to follow me on this, my social media outlets are in the description below uh next up is probably warlock although i have been getting people asking for liar's handshake so i think i'm gonna make either liar's handshake go before this video or the next one either or 
Let me know what you guys think. Do you Titans, did I do you guys justice? Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me. Again, I have all the stuff in the description below. Again, I thank you all for blowing up a lot of the videos that have been coming up. I really do appreciate it. These fashion videos are annoying to make because I am a very picky bitch and I like to have like inform like a lot of stuff in the video, like informational wise. So I do appreciate a like and a sub and all that because it, it really helps it really helps me think like, okay, this is worth it. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.